Good morning. Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. Got a few things on the curb. Hmm. Should I test this? Yeah. All right, so you're going up front first. I thought that was helium steel. It is not helium. Nope. Really? What's going on here? What? How are you stuck, dude? Is it that rock? It is. Hmm. Brain surgery in the morning? Um, this one. Ha. Ooh, wow. Do you see that? Okay. Okay. So now I know these rocks are strong. Wait, what are those? Oh, they're plastic. in the morning. Sun's almost up. Mm. Yeah, these look light, but they're not even close to being light. Boost. Man, I almost passed this up. Single stream recycling. Cardboard and paper. you're going to be sneaky and not be seen. Ha! You're busted. Just bash it on the ground, Paul, and break that off. No, nope. I'm not going to do that to the neighbors. I'm already too loud. big for my hand. <laughs> I picked this up at a, another spot. My camera is acting up lately. I think I'm going to get... I've, I've had this GoPro 8 for a few years now. I don't know, three years? So it is time for me to upgrade. Yeah. It's, it, it has been giving me a hard time for, I don't know, six months now where it's, it just acts up. I have to stop everything and take the camera apart and, and take the battery out and put it back in. And, and, and sometimes a couple of times 
her scrapping trip. Oh, some breakfast action. <laughs> there's no way there's metal. Wait a minute. They have one bag and that's off. Um, yeah, what I was gonna say is there's no way there's scrap metal inside when they're putting the scrap metal on the outside. Sunny day, sweeping the clouds away, clipping cords, trying to avoid the horde. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to the scrapyard? From here, I cannot tell what that is. I still can't. I think I think it's oh that's metal. You know what? Copper in the trash. That's five bucks right there. I always love getting the comments. Yeah, that's fake, Paul. You planted that. And I, I think I have what seven hundred videos, and there's. I don't know, 30, 40, 50 stops Oops. on every uh, video. So what's, let's do an average 40 stops times 700 videos. So four times seven, that's like thousands of planting of scrap. <laughs> that would be so much more work than actually out scrapping. I don't know, this is a lot of work. Maybe it would be easier just planting the stuff. Yeah. I love a new scrapping channel called Fake Scrap. I just want to look at this. This looks like it might be antique because it's kind of rounded. Maybe not. Someone might be getting this, so I'm not gonna take that piece of brass. Hey, Ward Furniture Manufacturing Company. Hmm. I don't know. This is my kind of day. Birds chirping, sunshine, no wind. Direct V. they opted for indirect V. Yeah, sometimes when I stop and see a bunch of scrap, but then I have to like, just look the other way. This doesn't even look real. This looks like a painting. The rolling hills and the trees, the happy trees. All right, I see garage door broken spring thing. Ooh, it looks like it's covered in grease. I just washed my gloves. I'm still gonna grab it. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, use something to not get my my gloves greasy. So that part looks stainless. Now, this can be a type of stainless, but my yard only buys it when it has no magnetism to it. Can I separate this very easily? This way, that way, this way. Take a hammer to it, plaw. Okay. All right, what am I gonna use? What am I going to use to? Hmm. Yeah, that. Hey, that's 
must be metal. What's that? Is that a lion? That's almost a, a grab. Almost. I will grab this though. I will grab this. And some aluminum. Hey, don't be falling. we got going on here what's in here nothing yes please I sense some music yeah this is a maybe pile Hmm. Wow, that's a bright light. Is there anything metal? I think so. Is that a crack pot? I think it is. I see. <laughs> is that a fold em up bed frame? I have never seen one like this before. But I appreciate it because it takes up less space. So as some of you know, um, the household has a kitten. Yeah, this kitten's been, he's a little fighter too. He likes, likes tearing my hands up, <laughs> cutting me up. He has, <laughs> this cat has 18 knives. Yeah, cause he has five, five, and then his feet has four cause he doesn't have any dew claws for some reason. But uh, his name, he has the coolest name ever because um, he's black and brown. It matters what kind of light comes in. Like when the sunlight comes hitting him, he looks brown, but otherwise he looks black. And so we mushed up the two words, black and brown, and he completely responds to his name. It's awesome. And oh, look at this toaster works. Even though I'm not doing bread lately. But yeah, so it's, it's, uh, the cat's name is B L R O W N. And, uh, and it's pronounced Brown. Yeah, and the cat totally responds to his name Brown. Try saying that. It's not that easy, but if, if you, if you work at it, you can do it. I want this crock pot though. Yep. I do. That's a nice crock pot. Yeah. Oh, another thing. Some of you that work the 12 steps of recovery know that that 10th step is uh, continue to take personal inventory and when wrong, promptly admit it. Yeah. So the the Paracerellifus that I come across every now and then. Perry, you know Perry. Well, I was talking to Perry and she says, you know, uh, I didn't really want to correct you, but uh, I'm a girl. I'm like, what? And she said, yeah, and my name, it's, yeah, it, my name is Perry, but it, you pronounce it a little bit wrong. It's Perry. P A R I S. And this is true. Her her name is Harry. P A R I S. Crockpot action. All right, I just I just upped my cooking game right there in one stop. Yeah, so Perry Cerellifus is Perry Cerellifus. What is that thing? It's a shark. Kind of different, huh? I bet it works and it doesn't look all thrashed. 
Like they tried vacuuming their garden. Hmm. Paul, you can't keep everything. Oh yeah. This one, because it has all the attachments still on it. It looks clean. And it looks like um, it's either a move out or something. So, what am I doing? Put it in the back seat. Yeah. Um, and the reason why I bring up uh, Paris Cerellifus is that someone in the comment section said, hey, uh, Perry is actually on the internet, you know. Um, you can you can find her. And sure enough, I did a Google search. I did a Google search and sure enough, she's there. Huh. Cool. I'm just taking this metal. All right, we're, I think we're good. All right. So the very next house. Yeah, I'm not really into those kind of decorations. I have a feeling that other scrappers were not out last night. I mean, it was very windy and not fun weather. I know some may be upset, but on Saturday, I didn't film any of it. But one of the teenagers helped me and turned in the aluminum and a barrel of cords. And uh, yeah, the insulated copper wire was 65 cents a pound and got $137 from a barrel of cords, clip cords, and I don't know, a third of a truck of that uh, aluminum, the alumina, the uh, sheet aluminum. Not feeling so good about this stop. I am feeling good about this stop. I see a tub, which means there's probably plumbing and copper. Where's the copper at? Oh. Well, it's not quite copper, but hey, I won't see anything in there. Bummer, man. Kappa, 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 kappa. I didn't leave empty handed, and that's aluminum too. It's an aluminum drumstick. Let's test it. Yeah, not magnetic. Yeah, some of these gooses, yeah, they don't use crosswalks like they should. Uh, it's only about 10 degrees above freezing right now, but it's uh, it's going to be beautiful. Look at the size of that goose over there. Wow. All right, Mr. Fan. Let's see if you work. I'm gonna say yes. All right, so we'll leave it in the off position. Let's see. Mm, maybe not so much. <laughs> Take 
this off. Is there another one? There we go. Yeah, you, yeah, you need, <laughs> you're very, um, it's not lubricated at all. Yeah, so there's some bearing issues there. The motor, you can tell, was going. That's just super, um, not lubricated. What is this? Carbon choke cleaner? No. What if I can just spray WD-40 in there? <laughs> I'll bet I can. <sighs> spray lubricant. Oh, you're gonna ruin it. It's already ruined. It's already been thrown away. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spray it like this. <laughs> yeah, it's all <laughs> yeah, it's already working better. Oh, but it's, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, if it blows up, I did it wrong. All right. You ready? Yay. It's kind of like when the Tin Man in the Wizard of Oz gets a little bit of oil. He's like, eh, 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 eh. as the elbow starts working, the shoulder starts working, starts doing a little dance. That's the next door neighbor guy with his uh, uh, answer machine. It just need a little lubrication. Look how easily it's moving now. It's a well-oiled machine. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help myself. Yeah, that's that's the way it's supposed to be. It, to be honest, I learned this from you. I did. I this wasn't me. Someone told me. Oh, okay. So there's a, there's a clip right there. All right. So the clip goes on here, and then one, uh, two, three, and four. Man, that is not. I'm excited about this. Well, I'm on a roll. Test out the shark. One of the shark scrapper keeps all his shark vacuums. Ah, stuff that keeps me up at night. Is that the power button? It looks like a power button. Yeah, this thing totally works. I just don't have any hoses that go to it. All right. Oh, I just sucked up a screw. All right. I guess it works if it sucks up a screw. Is that a ladder in the trash? It looked like metal, but it's not. But it's worth a glance. What's all this concrete? Bing, bing, bing. What is that? A, is that a B flat? <laughs> bricks and blocks and blocks and bricks. Come on, you know you want to. You know you want to break a brick. <laughs> Sorry. It's just a fun day. 
I had a little bit of a grumpy morning, so I'm like, I'm like happy that I'm feeling better. <laughs> yeah, I started off this morning, I'm like, ugh. Because I woke up too early. I woke up about a half an hour before my alarm. I was just wide awake. And I'm like, man, I want to be asleep. <laughs> ladder got chewed up i know there's aluminum pieces to it but yeah that fiberglass outside will make it uh not that desirable at my scrapyard huh. i'll bet this is too heavy being filled with these concrete things I don't know, maybe not. I'm all looking for some, looking for the goods. Where the goods at? Super secret dumpster. Hmm. We might have something here. dumpster stick. Excellent. I get companies all the time sending me emails saying, hey, recycle. That's recycle, not this, buddy. Um, yeah. And they're like, you know, you get a million views a month. You really should be hawking our product and making money. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I've lived life with money. I've lived life without money. <sighs> with money is easier. With money is less stress. Um, but I'm not mo money motivated per se. So um, when they're like, oh yeah, all you have to do is have a promotional, promotional products with every video and say this video is brought to you by Blah 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 product. Hmm. Yeah, that literally is just these. Hmm. So anyway, no, I don't. I have almost 700 videos right now, and I'm not making videos with product in mind. I mean, it is YouTube. There'll be advertisements. But I'm not selling anything. I was a salesman when I was in the real estate business in uh, the late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I don't like being a salesperson. But you're selling scrap, Paul. I know, but I'm not having to like convince people that don't want scrap to buy the scrap. Does that make sense? Yeah, this is kind of cool. Like being a salesperson, it's like I'm trying to convince people that don't need something that, hey, yes, you do need this thing. Yeah, you need this moisturizer for your skin. You need to, yeah, you get what I'm saying. All right, nothing here but this, which is kind of like a tarp. So I'm gonna take it. Tools for everyday life. Yeah, this is stuff that I listen to as I'm driving around now doing my scrapping. I'm Andrew Huberman, and I'm a professor of neurobiology and ophthalmology at Stanford School of Medicine. Today, my guest is Dr. David Sinclair, professor of genetics at Harvard Medical School and co-director. Oftentimes, it's not about um, just the steel that I'm selling, because I got 
copper and a crock pot and an industrial fan and that tarp looking thing <laughs> um, so but I'm gonna sell the small amount of uh, shred steel right now and I'm gonna guess 6,800 pounds no uh, oh yeah 6820 Six eight zero zero. Well, it's kind of fluctuating. All right, cool. Not a bad guess. All right, back up to the pile. Oh, he's crushing it up. <laughs> okay, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. I'm not just watching the. That's not the craw. What is it? He's just cutting up. He's turning the unprepared steel into prepared. Oh, that's aluminum. Oh yeah, he's, he's cutting up the aluminum. All right, we'll watch for a second. Those look like traffic poles, like traffic lights. Wow, the ground shakes. I can feel it in my feet. Jump. Okay. What's this thing? All right. All right. Hey, is that the chair that I put there last week? I bet it is. Someone said that's like a 1970 chair, which it could be. When I see stuff that is nostalgic, that reminds me of my childhood, um, yeah, it makes me want to save it, but then eventually I'm like, why did I save this? Just had to untie this real quick. Yeah, I already checked this, it's not magnetic. down try to sleep I knew this was going to be a, a short um, offload, so I'm not going to play any music. And so a lot of people like my girlfriend's son wrote that scrap song for me. And it was really cool because he, he told me after the fact. He's like, hey, I wrote a song for you. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah. So he had me listen to it. I'm like, can I, can I have it? Can I, can I buy it from you? Because I, I wanted to like... Um, be supportive financially for his art. And so I did, I bought it from him. I said, I'm gonna use it in my videos. He's like, all right, that's awesome. So yeah, that song was written, recorded, and sang by my girlfriend's son. Right at the house, too. Stainless. Whee! Ooh, this is stainless. Nope, that's regular steel. A 
That's your back window protector, Paul. That aluminum is super thick. Wow. Yeah, I don't want to get this greasy thing all in my gloves. Cheater bar. All right, we're good. Aluminum, <laughs> aluminum, stainless steel. All right, let's go get paid. Guy's losing his brakes. That trailer. That is. It's kind of blue, huh? He might be blowing an engine. That might be his rings breaking, sending oil into the cylinder. Piston mushes it. All right. So, 6520. So, 300 pounds. So, three times 10, so 30 bucks. Michael. Man, I forgot to bring it. A viewer sent a box to me with a bunch of chocolates and stuff from Hawaii. And, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's like he he got two of everything, and some stuff have a sticker Paul, some has a sticker for Michael. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, so I got to bring that to you. I'll probably bring it to you this that's afternoon. Very, that's that's a very kind thing. Yeah. Well, I did get something special. I got some Hawaiian coffee. Oh. Yeah. Nice. So I'm excited about that. I'm gonna go try that out as soon as I get to my house. Nice. I've been delaying my caffeine recently. I'm actually controlling it. Are I you? I drink caffeine all those last week. You none? Yeah, I'm trying to lay off. Dude, that's a that's like a big deal. That's like. How was it? Well, I was all right. I I think um. It it mellows me out a lot. That's the deal. I'm actually getting an as I'm getting an americano. Ah, uh, <laughs> all right. So you're breaking your caffeine fast. <laughs> <laughs> Eric shows up with the caffeine. That's the first one I've had in a while, right? Eric? Okay. Oh yeah. Sorry, so you're gonna be bouncing off the walls here pretty <laughs> I soon. Be able to do some work. All right. Thanks, man. See you, Paul. All right. I'll see you later. Thank you for the, the gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll bring it to you this afternoon. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you, God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for uh, just laughter and fun and people. <sighs> Lord, I'm going to ask, <laughs> it's a weird request, God, but I'm just going to ask for more friends in our lives. Yes, God. I'm going to ask more people to come into our lives that are friendly, that are true, that are kind, that are fun. Uh, and Lord, help me become a better friend uh, to those that you want me to be friends with. Um, and. Make it easy and simple and um, just not a hard thing. Because sometimes relationships are hard, God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Okay. So, yeah, that's more like it. 30 bucks. 30 bones. And $215 in that ton, 280 pounds. Yeah, that's good stuff. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for being friendly. Thanks for being my friend. Trying to sneak up on Olivia. I think this crock pot works. Uh oh. Be very, very still. 
I give up. Good morning, Olivia. How are you? Huh? You want to go on the party? No? You don't? <laughs> yeah, I got to get her a new sweater. But she likes her Christmas sweater. <laughs> she does. It fits her, even though one of the wheels fall off. One of the buttons. All right, Olivia. From then to now, thank God it got better. One man's trash is another man's treasure. From then to now, thank God it got better.